Once again, he carried the weight of expectation on his shoulders. But this time, he won't be feeling the weight of a gold medal around his neck. Michael Phelps, beaten in the men's 100 metres butterfly final by 21-year-old Joseph Schooling, who delivered Singapore's first ever Olympic gold medal. Could he ever have imagined this would have happened when the pair met at a 2008 training camp? But where Phelps failed, Katie Ledecky delivered another gold for the US and another world record. It's her fourth gold of the Games. In the velodrome, there was a moment of history for Team GB. Sir Bradley Wiggins became Britain's most decorated Olympian when he and the cycling pursuit team set a world record to beat Australia in the final. It means Wiggins now has five Olympic gold medals, one silver and two bronze. Earlier in the rowing, Team GB won two golds in the space of 30 minutes when Heather Stanning and Helen Glover defended their London 2012 title in the women's pair final. Shortly afterwards, the men's four triumphed. It's the fifth Olympics in a row that Britain has won this event. The first day of track and field events produced a contender for performance of the Games. Ethiopia's Almaz Ayana powered to victory in the women's 10,000 metres, wiping 14 seconds off the existing world record, which had stood since 1993. It's been a good day on the tennis court for Rafa Nadal. He and Mark Lopez won gold for Spain in the men's doubles. Hours earlier, Nadal edged into the semi-finals of the men's singles, beating Brazil's Thomas Bellucci. But in a shock result, Puerto Rican Monica Puig beat Petra Kvitova in the ladies' singles. She'll play Germany's Angelique Kerber in the final. And Iran has its first gold of the Games after Kianosh Rostami broke his own world record in the men's 85-kilogram weightlifting.